Our artists today worked in the 1930s. What is happening here is you're actually looking at a mural. If you know anything about history, there was the WPA. Uh, this happened during the Depression or after the Depression. The government wanted to hire all of these artists, these workers that would build streets, build dams. These artists would paint public buildings. Part of the WPA projects, this artist led the way in painting a bunch of murals in any kind of building, more specifically government buildings. He worked specifically in Missouri, so if you go down to Missouri and look at any state building uh, built during that time, it's most likely his murals that are on the wall. He'll capture what is going on in the Midwest, he'll capture history. If you look at a lot of his paintings, there is a ton of curves. There's almost no straight lines in his paintings. Uh, here we even have a little mystery of what's going on. We have this farmer in the background tilling the soil. We have this skull. If you look real closely, there is a gun next to the skull in this painting. Some of his paintings leave you to question what exactly is going on. I'm not sure. Maybe it's this, maybe it's that, but it leaves you to question what's going on. He was great at moving your eye around. If you look here, even in the clouds, it leads you into the windmill and down to the person, over to the bull. The bull's tail leads you to the photographer's hand. The fence leads you all around. He was a master at moving your eye. I love this artist. He is one of my top three artists, mainly because I'm a farm kid. But he wanted to paint his region that he was in. He would actually paint weird scenes of not sure what's going on. If you look real closely, the man has stabbed the woman, yet these people in the foreground, these three men, aren't really paying attention. But you'll see the landscapes, very surreal, a lot of movement. His style is called regionalism, regionalism. And so with regionalism, he's painting what's going on in the Midwest. This painting that you're seeing is quite large. It is actually in the National Gallery of Art. If you were to compare the size, if you were to start over by the door of the art room and go completely to the opposite side of the white board, that is how long this painting is. It actually is two huge panels. I actually have a quick selfie back when I was skinny uh, going to see this. But it is a huge painting, one of his masterpiece. But if you look at this, your eye is always movement. He had crazy colors in there to keep you bouncing around. But there's just this sense of drama going on and capturing what the Midwest isn't boring. It has a lot of drama in it. There's a lot of interesting things going on. His name is Thomas Hart Benton. Thomas Hart Benton. Regionalism was his style, if you haven't put that down, in 1930s. What I want you to know for the most important information is there on the screen, drew scenes of everyday life in the Midwest. Drew scenes of everyday life in the Midwest. Give you a second to put that down. So Thomas Hart Benton, Regionalism, drew scenes of everyday life in the Midwest. How we remember this? This is the image I'm going to show you. I've, how to say this, not tackled a lot of bulls, but broke a lot of bull spirits. I have scars on my back. To prove that, they are mean, and they will take you. You can see here in the middle, the guy is trying to break the bull's spirit. So if I'm thinking to myself, this guy and that bull are, are fighting, I would be betting on the bull, or betting on the bull. Thomas Hart, betting on the bull. So the action we do is put your fingers up in the air and you think I'm betting on the bull. Thomas Hart betting. 